Well, really often we talk about the Lord's Supper and, and communion as identical things, but actually uh, I propose to you that there's a difference between the Lord's Supper and communion. The Lord's Supper is a, 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 a sacramental meal, but simply uh, eating bread and getting some grape juice along with it is not necessarily communion. If you go up um, and uh, ignore everybody else around you, you may commune with God, but you haven't communed with one another. Because communion is the act of the body of Christ. It's the state of common union with one another. Um, so, communion can come about as a result of the Lord's Supper. And it's a recognition of our uh, common union. And it begins by being part of uh, a common experience. It doesn't necessarily produce that. But the common experience can bring people together. This, some of you know, most of you probably know, that uh, we were on vacation uh, last week in Door County, Wisconsin. If you don't know where Door County is, this next slide, if the computer will cooperate. Well, when the computer finally cooperates and advances to the next slide, it's a, a, a map of Wisconsin with Door, there we go, there's Door County, that little peninsula that sticks out into Lake Michigan. It's really nice and, uh, and cool there. The weather was great. And uh, what we did, we, we uh, took our camper and um, spent time at a campground. And we detached our pickup and uh, went driving around exploring some of the things in Door County. Well, the promotional material said that in this uh, one community, Ellison Bay, there were all sorts of artists. And you could go and see artists at work, and it made, painted this kind of grand image that, oh, this is just a bustling place with a lot of art stuff going on, and Addison loves art, and so we headed to Ellison Bay, and we got there, and um, town was basically one intersection of two roads. Um, there was a restaurant on one corner, a grocery store on the other corner, a um, village announcement board on the third corner, and a, an Asian art museum, or gallery, where everything was for sale on the other corner. Well, we couldn't afford anything in that uh, art museum, even if we had wanted it, we couldn't afford it. So we were uh, a little disappointed and felt like the promotional material had kind of misled us uh, about what went on there. So I told Jean, well, let's go look at the, on the village board and uh, see if there's any information there. When we went up, I couldn't find too much about things. There was a uh, little bit of information about one uh, gallery uh, that was just outside of town. But they did have a poster that the um, Historical Society, Ellison Bay Historical Society, was having their annual fish boil. Now, some people know that fish boils are a big deal in Door County. I've never eaten one, and the, the thought of eating boiled fish didn't sound real appetizing to me, but I figured, well, let's do this. It's part of the culture of this area. Let's just go ahead and uh, try it. So we went to a, a little gallery where they did a bunch of leather work, which was actually more artistic than anything else we saw. Uh, in, the, in the whole town. But uh, 
uh, when it came time for the uh, fish boil to start, we headed back on into town to the restaurant. And the fish boil was done outside in these cauldrons uh, outside of the restaurant. And I was here in the evergreen trees. And there were a bunch of picnic tables behind me. We actually ate inside the restaurant. Uh, but what goes on at a fish boil, if you haven't ever been to one, there's this guy here. He's the boil master, if you can see where I'm pointing. And he's got this long pole. Uh, the, they take chunks of white fish about the size of my fist. You take a, you know, lay out a fish and just chop it up and throw it into this big basket that's in those cauldrons. And they throw in whole potatoes with the skins on them. I hope they washed them first. They tasted like they were washed. And whole onions. And then I didn't see it, but Gene said they took like grain scoops and put in how many scoops of salt? One really One big, really big yeah. scoop of salt into this thing. So you would think, ah, salt and fish. And blah. But at any rate, the way they do it is the boil master watches. And when the... Uh, when the cauldron is just getting ready to boil over, he, he talks to his assistant, who is this guy here. With, you see this can there? That's a coffee can full of kerosene. And the assistant goes and throws the kerosene on that wood fire, and it's kind of spectacular. Okay, that's the first one. Show them the next one, Gene. There we go. That's a little bit more. It, doesn't that look like fun, Caden? Looks just like home cooking. I, I sent this picture to my sister. She said, oh my gosh, it looks just like when I cook steaks on the grill. Um, but what happens, they, they told me that when this thing boils over, it boils the salt out, and the, all that fire burns up the fish oil that's on top of the water by that time so the fish doesn't taste fishy and it really doesn't so we went there and the best part of the meal let me see there's oh yeah after the after the boil over then the, the boil master comes along with a stick and he and the assistant uh, pull out the basket and the fish and potatoes and onions are ready to eat. Uh, the best part of the meal was on the next slide. The ladies had homemade cherry pie. Door County is known for its cherries. They're the, the big tart cherries. So, oh, this pie was wonderful. I mean, it was really almost as good as Ramona's pie. Not quite, but almost. Um, so at, at any rate, uh, the, uh, as we sat and ate this uh, boiled white fish, I was listening to the conversation of people around us. And you had one couple over here, they were talking about, uh, oh, come over to the house, we'll play cards uh, after we get done eating. And there was somebody else over there that was from out of town also, and, and a couple was asking them where they were from and about asking them about their lives, and people were reminiscing about uh, stuff in the past and uh, talking about shared experiences. Well, it was, it was a cool community event. You know, like when we have the beef dinner, or uh, when we had the Seder meal, people sat around and talk and just share together. It was really a, a good community experience. The ladies invited us to come back to the fish boil next year, but I don't think I have a chance of getting Gene up there to the fish boil again next year. I, I ate both of my pieces of white fish and half of hers, but I don't know if you've ever eaten just chunks of white fish. Um, but there's a lot of bones. It's not as bony as carp, but, but 
after two and a half pieces, I just kind of gave up. I wasn't full necessarily. I just was tired of picking off bones. And after I had eaten about three of them, I think. And so uh, uh, I just kind of gave up. Um, but the, the experience really was good. The community that was formed was great. But it still wasn't a sacramental time as we have with the Lord's Supper. Uh, in that time, we acknowledge that, that God is present with us in that sacrament. And not only is God present with us, God unites us. So we aren't just a group of individuals. We are one body of Christ. So, for, you know, like in marriage, for better or worse, we're part of each other. And, and recognizing that and really living it out is what is communion, that common union that we share in Christ. So as, as you come today to um, partake of the Lord's Supper, come and pray for those around you. Pray for the people in front of you and the people behind you. Remember that you are part of those folks as we come and share in the presence of God with us through the Lord's Supper.